I am Jeremy Colson. I'm the drum player for uh, Steve I's band. I've been with Steve I for about 20 years. Uh, I also play with Sebastian Bach, um, and I used to play with played with Billy Idol for a couple years, and I played with Marty Friedman from Megadeth and Michael Shanker, uh, and some other stuff. So, but yeah, now it's on tour with Steve I. I got the gig through a guy named Mike Varney, who's a uh, who owned a label called Shrapnel Records, and he he put out a bunch of instrumental guitar albums by Marty Friedman, Tony McAlpine, a bunch of instrumental guitar players. And um, I met him when I was still a teenager, and he introduced me to some of those artists, and I started working with them. And then he recommended me uh, for uh, for the Steve Vai gig. And so Steve called me up and we talked and then I eventually went down and uh, auditioned for the band. I, I still hit really hard, but I'm le I've learned a lot more about um, dynamics. Because I used to, when I used to play, my whole goal was to just everything as loud as possible. And I was constantly breaking cymbals constantly breaking drumsticks and I still do but I don't I, I've learned to um, you have to learn how to uh, adjust your sound uh, so that it people think that to sound big and heavy you have everything has to you have to hit everything really really loud but I was finding that I started to I was getting to the point where I was hitting so hard that I wasn't getting any more power out of the drums and it wasn't, you know, I wanted to be able to like play and have all sorts of different dynamic ranges. I might hit the snare drum really hard, but when I hit the cymbal, I don't have to hit it with the same strength that I hit my snare drum because that's going to, that's going to break a cymbal. So learning about all these things throughout the years has evolved my playing now to when I play, um, I don't, it doesn't always, I don't have to sit down, it doesn't always have to be intense and to learn how to have dynamics. You can't say that after being with somebody for 20 years and, 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 and playing with them and jamming and improvising with them for the amount of time that I have, like I, I understand uh, a lot of the times when he plays certain things, what he's going to do and, and how to... Uh... The big thing with playing with him is to be able to do something on the spot, improvise or learn a part on the spot. And that's what a lot of people get freaked out by because they're like, whoa, you know, you can spend as much time as you want uh, practicing and, and learning something on your own. But the, the big thing that separates professionals is when you can do that stuff on the spot, you know? That, and that's, that's the, the thing that I've learned from him. You gotta be able to do it in front of people, on the spot, when you're in the recording studio, like this is what I want, figure it out, let's do it, go. And that's, that's, that's sometimes, it's a lot of pressure, but it's, I, don't, I, I like doing it, it doesn't bother me now.